Hi, this is Burns Hargis with a very special edition of Inside OSU. We uh, have had by far the most memorable and exciting football season in the history of OSU, winning the first Big 12 championship, really the first conference championship in OSU's history, uh, and, uh, and really created an enormous amount of excitement, and there's no one uh, that uh, is any more responsible for this than Mike Gundy. Mike, glad to have you on, uh, thank you. on Inside OSU. Congratulations on a great season. Well, I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's been a great year, and uh, I'm so happy for all the OSU people. Uh, there's so much excitement here in the community that uh, it's still lingering today. This team has just performed well every week and, and overcome incredible adversity. We've got great leadership. Our coaches, our assistant coaches have been really good. Their demeanor on the sideline never changes, and the players feel that. So it starts with them, and then we have Brandon Whedon's and Jamie Blatnick's and Rashetti Jones. You go right on down the list with Blackman and Levy and Grant Garner. Uh, they've been tremendous, Markel Martin, and our younger players have followed them. Now, I was in the locker room for the big trophy presentation, mm -hmm. and I couldn't see because your team's pretty big. And oh, they're I big guys. Kind of, I, I was trying to stay clear of, the, of, the, of uh, harm's way. Did you do the Gundy for him? I did. And I had a couple new twists <laughs> because for three years I'd been doing the same thing. So I brought some hands and some hand gyrations into it. The players love that. I mean, they, they start dancing. They've been doing this three or four years. And then one day I kind of joked around with them and did it. And since then, they brought me into the picture. We believe in the kids, have players having fun. We do all the things right. So if they want the old coach to dance, he's going to dance. Well, Mike, you have uh, been a great leader and are a great leader for our school. And uh, we've benefited mightily from, from your service to Oklahoma State University. And I just want you to know, from a grateful OSU nation, thanks well, I a appreciate lot. it. Thank you. Here we are in the Oklahoma State Cowboy football team weight room with two of the stalwarts of our championship team, Jamie Blacknick and Rashetti Jones. Uh, guys, uh, you played a big part in that, uh, that OU game. Uh, you, you had the, the longest run from, I think you had the longest run of the entire game. Yeah. And you scored, Rashetti. Yes, sir. Okay, well, which one happened first? Mine. All right, talk, talk about it. Uh, I mean, just going after the ball and, you know, Elkins calls a fumble and pick it up and, and try to get it to the house, but, you I've know. never seen you move that fast, Jamie. You were, you were flying. Man. I've never seen myself move that fast. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I got all, I, I want to take it all the way down to the one-yard line because I figured, you know, the offense and Randall, they need a, Joseph, another touchdown. Joseph touchdown needs that touchdown. Yeah, they don't need it. Touchdowns don't help me very much, so, yeah. you know, team player. Talk about your uh, your score in the OU game. I was going to block the pass. Once I went up to him, he fumbled the ball. And I kicked it, fumbled, and stumbled. <laughs> and um, finally, when I got it, back. all I seen was orange. I was in the end zone. And I was like, did I really score? And <laughs> my teammates jumped on me. I'm like, so I guess I did. You came in 07, I guess. Mm -hmm. so, the first year, so the first year was 7 and 6. And uh, now here we are, I think, at the end of this season, going to be 12 and 1. Did, did you see this coming? From our freshman year to now, I mean, it's so many things have changed for the better. It's just remarkable. We brought in, you know, quality people and, and the, you know, in the locker room, if I was my freshman year, if I was in the locker room, I said, hey, guys, we're going to go 12-1 this year, people would have laughed at me. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's, that's how it's well, changed. Well, a lot of it, a lot of it, as I often say, uh, uh, our trainer, uh, uh, Rob Glass, has got a big part in this. Oh, yeah. We're here in this weight room, and there's a saying right up here on uh, on the wall from Muhammad Ali: "Before I get in the ring, I've already won or lost." Mm -hmm. Preparation. Yep. Right? Did you had you bought into that when you came here? As freshmen, we bought in, but uh, it was it was a um, it's something that had to, it was a cycle that had to be completed. You had to get better guys in, guys that wanted to work, guys that wanted to buy in, and Coach Glass did the rest. You know, he. Uh, he taught us how to work hard, how to be champions, and how to persevere through tough times. And basically, got everybody bought in, and this is what you get. Let's talk about the Fiesta Bowl. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting venue, right? Oh, yeah. The, uh, and, and an exciting opponent, Stanford. You still got a lot to prove, right? Of course. I mean, and what better way to prove it than against one of the top quarterbacks in the, in the country, you know, at, at the Fiesta Bowl. We just appreciate everything you've done for OSU, and good luck in the Fiesta Bowl. Beat Stanford and go Pokes. Thank you. you Thank bet, you. Jamie. Appreciate Rashetti. it. Well, here we are in the incredible Cowboy locker room, which was uh, built in 2009, and so we've had this for three years. And with me are two of the 
uh, great players of the Oklahoma State Cowboys and members of this fantastic senior team. Brandon Whedon, our quarterback, and Grant Garner, our center. Guys, welcome. Thank hey, you. Travis. Uh, I bet you're going to miss this place, aren't you? Absolutely. You know, it doesn't get much better than this. No, you know, I Especially, know. you know, where we started and where we're at today. Just give me some, some thoughts about how far you've come and uh, did you ever really, truly believe you would get to this point? I mean, absolutely. You know, I, I came in uh, kind of open-minded, didn't really know what to expect, but uh, I knew what was on the way. You know, with Mr. Pickens uh, obviously donating the money in, in this facility and, and uh, the, the players are in, involved. So, yeah, you know, you always hope. You never know, but you always hope. And, uh, you know, the second year when we won nine games, um, you know, it was, it was kind of the rise. And, uh, you know, just kind of take over the reins and, and keep, that, keep that momentum going. It's been a lot of fun. How about you, Graham? What are, what are some of the highlights of your experience here? Um, I think definitely beating OU and everybody coming out, uh, beating Texas two years in a row, beating A&M, what, three or four years in a row, and winning the Big 12 Championship. That's pretty incredible. Of course, we're known as one of the great passing teams, and we are one of the great passing teams. And the offensive line obviously has a lot to do with that. But coming into uh, to the OU game, I don't think anybody sus expected us to have the success with the run that we had. Uh, and I know the offensive line has a lot to do with protecting this guy and the reason he doesn't have a boot on his leg if you do. Uh, uh, how were we able to do that? I think all five of us just took pride in keeping him clean all year. And uh, we just wanted to be able to run the ball because I think that's your mark, your measure of success of your offensive line is if you can run the ball. Of course, one of the uh, real headline matchups of the Fiesta Bowl is going to be uh, you against Andrew Luck of Stanford. Uh, Luck, they project, is going to go number one in the draft. Mm -hmm. uh, he's obviously a very talented player. Uh, tell, tell me about that matchup. He's a great player. He's going to be you know, the first pick overall, but he's also he's a, he's a great guy. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a challenge for us. He's, um, you know, he, he, he brings a lot to the table as far as what he can do on the field, and, and uh, he's got that team rolling right now. Now, I probably can't get you to uh, – to say whether uh, Luck or Whedon, or the, which one's the best quarterback, but I bet I, I bet I could get you to tell us who the best center on these two teams. Uh, not even not even a question. I mean, this this guy right here is kind of uh, he's been the anchor for not only this this offense but this team for for the last couple of years. You know what he does the line of scrimmage, what he does to get those guys. You know the, uh, the communication standpoint. He's uh, he's kind of what makes it go. I, I say he's the most valuable player on this offense. I think you've broken through the. The glass ceiling that was uh, that was keeping us out of national prominence, and uh, uh, I think uh, we all owe a big debt of gratitude to you and your fellow seniors for everything you've done. We, we really it. appreciate it. We appreciate you. it. Thanks, sir. You bet. Great, Thanks, President. Well, I hope everybody will come or tune in for the Fiesta Bowl. I know it'll be a great experience, a great opportunity to showcase Oklahoma State and our wonderful football team, and uh, we'll all be there, excited. Go, Pokes.